Good girls. Is that good, guys? Good. You want some now, Oakley? Come here. You can have some. She's like a big lap dog, I swear. Well, I went out and got Christmas dinner. So we have a nice duck here. And I'm planning on having a rooster as well. For those of you that are curious, when you're defeathering a turkey, you want to go and grab the down feathers and down just like that. And they'll come right off. Sniper, you always want to get involved in this, don't you? All right, good move, bud. Now we just let it marinate. When people say plant your pantry, this is what they mean. I'll have more bell peppers in the spring. This is what almost 100 seeds looks like. So one plant is going to give us enough seeds to plant a very large row of bell pepper. Plant your garden, guys. And you can plant your garden simply by using your pantry. Keep this in a cool, dark place, and you'll be all set. Growing all locally here on the homestead. We got a nice rooster right here, and a nice duck right here. All the hashtags. These electrical thermometers are literally a game changer. Oh, that looks real good. That looks amazing, guys. Just as I'm out here getting my pellet tube smoker going, you can hear it's alarming me, letting me know that the chicken is now ready. We've already taken the duck out. Like I said, this thing is amazing. I'm outside, and I'm way far away from where the kitchen is, um, but the Bluetooth on this thing is incredible. You got the cold pellet smoking tube lit. We're gonna make some really awesome smoked hors d'oeuvres with this bad boy. We are making a smoked cheese platter. And I know a lot of you guys have had a really shitty year, okay? And I'm not here trying to make you feel better about, about this year or tell you that next year is going to be any different. It's not what I do. But I will tell you one thing. You'll be a much happier, more productive person if you work towards the goals of what your purpose in life is. And only you know what your purpose for life is but finding your purpose and letting go of the negativity, whether that means forgiving yourself, forgiving others, realizing there are things in the world that you can't control, getting rid of that negativity. And not only getting rid of that negativity, but taking steps in the right direction, putting into practice the things that you already know you need to fucking do. We all know what we need to put into practice, but it's getting up every morning and doing it. And I can tell you for me, regardless of where I have been in my spiritual or emotional life. There's one verse in the Bible that's always resonated with me above all else. And that's Philippians 4, 6 through 9. That is what I believe is the purpose of all humans, all human beings. That is your purpose right there. There are shitty things that are going to happen. We all know this. Okay, so it is letting go of those things that are outside your control. Okay, focusing on the things that are good in life. Okay, and then taking steps and putting into practice the things that you already know you should put into practice. I don't care if you're atheist, I don't care if you're Christian, I don't care if you're Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. You can't tell me that that is not the most effective way to live life. Bear from Bear Independent always says something that uh, I really enjoy, you know, because it's something that I agree and it falls directly in line with Philippians 4, 6 through 9. He always says, pray, meditate, 
as if everything is in God's hands and work as if everything is in your hands. I mean, if that doesn't sum up how to be an effective person in life, I don't know what does. So everybody, you, you all know what you need to do. You all know the things that you need to put in practice. You know the negativity that you need to let go. You know the positive things you should be focusing on. Like I said, it's just waking up every morning and actually doing it. Stay strong, stay positive, do the things, and have a Merry Christmas. And as always, and as always, long live the Republic. Put you on the spot, give me a taste. How is it? Is it good? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, it works. And it tastes great. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the food here. As always, long live the Republic.